Okay, so um, construction materials, and this has a lot to do with uh, insulation. Stability is not that much of an issue because the stability, if we don't talk high rise, is not a not a big issue. Um, after well, researching this issue very long, so before I started studying uh, for civil engineering, I, I learned the profession of bricklaying. And uh, so building houses with bricks is, is pretty nice. Uh, but then later I learned that making these bricks, burning them, costs lots of energy. And uh, so now I'm very much in favor of loam bricks, air-dried loam bricks. And um, we worked together with Marius Birik, uh, who has a company, um, a loam building company in uh, near Flensburg, in the very uh, north of Germany. And he has a lot of experience. He worked uh, with GIZ in um, Ethiopia for, for many years. They have a long tradition in loam building. Uh, so he brought together European tradition with African, East African tradition. And uh, so he became a very, very good loam builder. And we do also the um, loam stoves together with him. Lo so he developed some uh, wood gas stoves with loam. So we like that very much. And so we did some uh, work with him. We learned from him. And we worked together for the Ethiopia project. And uh, this is something where um, we do have uh, well, a material that is absolutely wonderful. So many areas do have good loam. And uh, the loam bricks are very much dependent on the composition of the loam. So you must have a specific composition between uh, clay, silt, and sand. And if this is in a good range, if you make bricks, you air dry them, and you could build a hundred floors buildings with air-dried loam bricks. So it is very, very stable then. And we don't want to go for a hundred floors, I think. This is not very ecological from the beginning. Uh, but if we go one floor, two or three floors, this is absolutely sufficient.